Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going back to the 1990s. We're gonna see just how brutal judo used to be, you know, a few decades ago, but still, you know, 1990s is still far safer than the 1970s or say 1920s. Um, you're gonna see far less rules. You're gonna see far more options and hence why it was absolutely crippling. Um, you're gonna see a lot of the stuff that today are simply not there anymore and they passed as nothing during the fight. So going back to the finals of the 1994 All Japan between Konno and Yoshida. And here, the first example is a scissor takedown or Kani Basami by Konno. If you don't know, this takedown can easily shatter your knees and cripple you and simply end your career. So uh, I don't know why it is still available in Sambo and even Jiu Jitsu, but in judo simply it's not the case and for a very good reason the explosive nature of uh, judo just imagine here in open weight category a far larger man goes with this takedown on you it's gonna completely destroy you but uh, in the past in Japan it stayed far longer legal than in the international stage I believe here for example the 96 Olympics uh, I believe this is Kate Howie and she was eliminated due to this uh, takedown. Again, it's not surprising to see just how devastating on the knee this takedown is. And for a very good reason, it is banned. Now, here next, Konno goes for a standing Waki Gatame. Almost shatters the arm. Again, not eliminated. No Hansokumake, nothing because... I believe from what I understand is that in the past you could do it standing but if you dive to the ground then yes it would be dangerous now let's take a look here at another angle I believe his elbow locked around this point you can see his shoulder almost pop to the front now Waki Gatame could be done standing up uh, I believe Back then, it was legal to do it uh, this way during the fight. Now, when you're standing, you cannot lock anything. You have to take it to the ground, and from there, you act and lock the elbow or the shoulder. For example, here, um, Saito against Sho. The way he dives on him, that, I believe, would be illegal. But um, back in the past 80s and 70s, from what the older generation told me, is that when you take only one arm and not two on the arm grabbing it, then it'd still be legal if you go down like this. But still, if it's under the armpit, it's under the armpit. It doesn't matter uh, one arm or two arms holding it. So here, for example, this is a great transition. It goes with Uchimata, finishes immediately with Waki Gatame. Now that was brilliant, but still dangerous nonetheless. But I would even today, it would be... Uh, allowed now let's check out uh, an actual elimination due to this so just dives in to this no option to tap out no option to submit and just shatters the arm and the referees got together and they decided that it is a Hansokumake and he lost the fight and logically it's logical so Again, just absolutely shatters the arm. Now here, almost gets pinned. And watch how Konno pushes on the head. And Yoshida gets aggravated and gets a stare down. It's better than the 2012 stare down. So here, pushes him, kicks him with a lot of force after that, you know, dirty push on the head. And they stare down at each other. Again, remember, this is the finals. This was better... Uh, then the 2012 uh, Olympic in the semifinals between uh, Bischoff and Stevens. You see them here. Everyone re remembers this moment, but you know, in 1994, it happened with far more intensity. So now here, Yoshida goes for Kani Basami. Brilliant spin out of this scissor takedown by Konno. Look at how he rotates the leg around and uses his arm to almost cartwheel around Yoshida's body and gets behind him. This is brilliant. Um, 
now here again just now these were not the only attacks but i showed the most brutal ones and finally kono wins by a decision and yoshida is absolutely devastated and again this is a fight to remember everyone remembers this fight they hit each other with everything almost tried to cripple each other and back then it was legal so just so you know how crippling judo used to be and this is just the 1990s so many of these of this generation still fight still do rendori and everything and you can still talk to them they're still relatively young and look how judo used to be now there's just a lot of hansokumake and a lot of them i understand them like kani basami and the diving the diving on the elbow immediately of course i get it but you know just look at how it used to be again leg grabs for me it should be a thing because there's no risk involved compared to what this uh proposes but the whole thing with the leg grab and wrestling and it's just it makes no sense from a you know filling up the seats standpoint and also just to for safety reasons it makes no sense look at how many kani basami he tries to hit him with and i'm surprised he walked out of there uh, intact so again just to show you the old judo and how it used to be again it's just absolutely insane so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content and as always this was shady and thank you for listening